Hello everyone, and I would like to show you another exciting chess game of Bobby Fischer, which was played in 1964 in New York. In this chess game, Bobby Fischer has the white pieces, and his opponent is Mike McDermott. And let's check out how this game went on. Bobby Fischer, who is playing with the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, e5, bishop to c4, knight to f6, and after knight to c3, we have the Vienna game, bishop to c5, by black, f4 by Fischer, d6, not accepting the pawn sacrifice, but pushing the pawn, knight to f3, bishop to g4, h3, capturing back, and then knight to c6 by black, d3 by Fischer, and then black played knight to d4, attacking the queen, and at the same time, black is attacking on c2. And if knight takes on c2, that is forking the king and the rook. What now? Bobby Fischer is not defending the pawn, and he played queen to g3, leaving the pawn, and sacrificing the exchange. Black captured the pawn happily. Knight takes on c2, check, king to d1, and capturing the rook. What was the idea of Bobby Fischer? Well, the quick attack, the aggressive attack was the idea. Fischer played queen takes on g7, threatening checkmate, and also attacking the rook. So in this position, black has to defend the checkmate threat with the rook, rook to f8, and f takes on e5, d takes on e5, and then rook to f1 by Bobby Fischer, attacking the knight defending with the bishop, and bishop to g5. The knight is overloaded, how to defend? Black desperately played knight takes on e4. Well, if knight to h5, then bishop takes on f7, that's check. If rook takes on f7, then queen takes on f7, simply. And black is losing. After bishop takes on f7, the other possible move. If king to d7, then queen takes on e5, and black is in trouble. Let's say bishop takes on g5, then queen to e6, check, mate. Well, in this position, black is in trouble, so black desperately played. Knight takes on e4, knight takes on e4, and then black played f5, attacking the knight, and if defending the knight, maybe bishop takes bishop, was the idea of black. Fisher played, queen takes on h7, bishop takes on g5, and going after the material. And once again, black is a piece up, black has the rook. What would you do in this position? Bobby Fisher played a killer move, and after that move, black resigned. Well, Fisher played queen to g6, that's check, and black resigned. That was the whole idea of Bobby Fischer, knocking out his opponent at the early stage of the game. So this is why. He went for the quick sacrifice. He sacrificed his rook, allowing knight takes on c2, and then attacking the king, without having the chance to castle, and then crushing his opponent. Well, let me show you the possible continuation. There is only two possible scenarios. If defending with the rook, rook to f7, then queen takes on f7, check, mate, there is no defense. If king to d7, then queen to e6, check, mate, once again. And finally, if king to e7, what happens then? Then queen to e6, check, mate, one final time. Black is getting checkmated, and there is no defense. Another beautiful and instructive chess game by Bobby Fischer, which probably made you happy. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.